Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we're going to do a 1989 Amy number 9. And it says, one of Euler's conjectures was disproved in the 1960s by three American mathematicians when they showed there was a positive integer such that a bunch of numbers to the fifth power is equal to n to the fifth power. Find the value of n. Well, to start out, you can first try to do the problem yourself. All right. Now, to start this out, we can see that n is greater than 133. That's pretty obvious, since if n was equal or less than 133, then all this stuff is is all this stuff is greater than 133 to the fifth power, and that's bad. So, but then what else can we do? We can't just like evaluate it or something because that's not very feasible. So, looking at all these fifth powers makes us think of a theorem called Fermat's Little Theorem. As such, it states that a to the power of p is congruent to a mod p for prime p, and gr the greatest common divisor of a and p is 1. I think I've introduced this in a previous video before, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. So, we see that p, in this case, is equal to 5. So, we have that 130, a, just a to the 5, is congruent to a mod 5. So, if we use this in... Uh, each of our numbers here, then we see that 133 plus 110 plus 84 plus 27 is congruent to n mod 5. And all this stuff, well this is just, this is just 3 this is 0, this is 4, and this is 2 mod 5. And we get the 3 plus 4 plus 2 equals 9 mod 5 is congruent to 4 mod 5. So, now we know that n is congruent to 4 mod 5. So, that's somewhere. We just got rid of a fifth, well, four fifths of the infinite number of possibilities that n can be. It's still there's an infinite number of possibilities, but at least we've got rid of four fifths of it. Well, now let's let's think of another mod that might work. Let's see, if we did mod two, then it would give that n is even. But that doesn't really help that much. I guess we can put it down. n is congruent to 0 mod 5, mod 2, actually. What else can we do? Let's do 3. 3 also seems like a pretty nice number. So 133 plus 132 to the fifth. Can't forget that. Plus 110 to the fifth plus 84 to the fifth, plus 27 to the fifth, is congruent to n to the fifth, mod 5. Well, first of all, these two are both 0 mod 3, so, whoops, mod 3. So both of these are just 0 mod 3, so we can disregard them. This 133 here is congruent to... 1 to the power of 5, mod 3. And this 110 here is congruent to negative 1. Whoa, that's negative 1 to the power of 5. And it just so happens that these two also cancel each other out. And when finally we get the n to the power of 5 is 0 mod 3, which means that n is congruent to 0 mod 3. Now we can add this onto our list. 
and it's congruent to 0 mod 3. Well, so far we've got uh, this bunch of information. So let's see if we can uh, get this somewhere. First, let's delete some of this crap. If you if you don't remember this, then you can just go back in the video and rewatch it. Right. So n is congruent to four mod five, n is congruent to zero mod two, and n is congruent to zero mod three. So let's see where we can that takes us. First of all, we see that n is congruent to zero mod three, and n is congruent to zero mod two, it implies that n is congruent to zero mod six. And now n is congruent to 4 mod 5 is n congruent to 0 mod 6. Well, what does that mean? Well, let's first find uh, n is congruent to 4 mod 5 and 0 mod 6. So first, listing out some possibilities of n is congruent to 4 mod 5. We have 4, 9, and then 14, 19, 24. Oh, so we found one. It's right here, 24. And also note that this pattern repeats every 30 because 5 times 6 is 30. So n is congruent to 24 mod 30. So what n works? Let's list those out. n is equal to 24. We have 54. 84, and then 114, 144, 174, 204, and etc. So first of all, we can see that these all definitely don't work because they're all less than 133, and we can't have that because remember this condition? 144, that looks like a nice candidate. And 174, 204, those seem a little bit too big. Remember, we're taking to the power of 5. And uh, 174 and 133 have a pretty large space in between them. And so when you take the power of 5, they, there's a lot bigger space. And I don't think it can be filled by these small powers of fives. 144 seems like our best answer, and since this is an Amy, chances are it is the right answer. So 144 is the correct answer. Hey guys, Zong here. Back with another math video. Today we're doing, um, as you can probably tell from the title, AMGM, which is a really useful inequality. So um, we had a problem importing the problem into uh, this um, software. So. Just uh, hope my handwriting is not too bad, but just read the problem. As you can probably guess, we're using MGM to solve it, and pause the video if you need to solve it. Okay, so here's the solution. Um, I forgot the solution. Three, two, one. Okay, so uh, let me tell you guys what AMGM is. So a uh, G, um, and pardon the lag, it's because of Daniel. So, um, AMGM stands for Arith Arithmetic Mean, and Arithmetic Mean. And then GM stands for Geometric Mean. Which, if you uh, if you if you know what they are, it's x over y.